Hey, we're on Norian. Um, there's an item here by this landing site, and then it's basically... Which apparently you've already missed. Oh. I could not see a way to get up to it. Anyway, and then there's this whole branch, which I'm told is going to lead to a Metroid hatcher, so that'll be fun. Uh, depending on how long that takes, I uh, will get some amount into Brio, probably. Yeah. Brio is... I guess uh, i to go through this tube. Brio's going to be interesting. Which looks like it starts in this room. So. No. no. I think there was a spider ball track to the left. Is that right? Oh, so there was. Okay. Oh no, they only mocked it with orange paint. Yep. <gasps> it didn't work. Because the orange blends into everything else, except at least there's no... <laughs> this place doesn't have orange. This, this is the blue planet. No, this is like One the... Of the blue planets. This is the... You know, every game released after 2005 planet. Yes. It, it's just, you know, kind of washed out gray. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's some That's green back there, Australia. but it's grayish. Yeah, it's got that shadow of the clock. Look at this fucking tree. On, this tree it? is gray. <laughs> I know it's dead. That but tree like, looks like a rock. It does. When I said released after 2005. It's more, more like just, you know. Between 2000. Five and twenty, twelve ish. I don't know, something like that. Saying an exact science. Yeah. yeah, Twilight Princess is very washed out. I still like the way that game looks. Brawl is very washed out. Aside from the character designs, the environments in that game are very pretty, uh, despite the washed out colors. I actually, I wonder yeah. what that game would look like if they kept the style and the way that things are rendered, but just, just up the saturation a little, gave things a little bit more color. I think it could look really, really beautiful if they did that. Right. I'm interested to uh, potentially see like a mod or something that does that. Am I uh, going backwards at this jump. point? It, it looks like it. And jump well. Like, can you like? Oh no, that's up. Never mind. I thought there was a ledge up there. I thought so at first, and I walked forward, and I didn't see it. So, how do you feel about drugs? Um. Well, we all we all had the thing where they told us why they're bad for you. So obviously, not no one in my generation is gonna do them. What? Yeah. I need to get up there. I don't know how. Hmm. <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh. You should ask the people for help. They'll have such insightful commentary. Uh, sorry, I'm on duty. I can't talk right now. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, sorry, I'm on duty. I can't talk right now. Captivating. I didn't know this was Bucky's. What do you know? I just had to keep going around. It was a spiral okay, shape. You, uh, you may have to explain that because I didn't. Try yeah, that. no, I. I remember somebody saying, like, when I was just at, at work like months ago, somebody just mentioned that, like, oh, you know, at Bucky's, if you ever talk to another coworker, then you'll just be fired. You're only allowed to talk to the customers. Hmm. Well. I've not uh, I've not been in a Bucky's very many times, and the few times I have been, I and I mean, do not believe I ever saw employees talking to each other. But I also I've not seen such don't, bravery. I don't think there would have been a reason for them to, so I don't know. And then you know, obviously, there's going to be people who are like, "Well, what? You can't you know, people can't give each other, you know, like jobs to do or like anything like that." It's like, I mean, obviously, that's not what they meant, but. I don't know. It was probably full of shit. Bucky's in general is full of shit. The place doesn't exist. <laughs> you should work there. So your coworkers will leave you alone. Ah, yes. It'll only be you know a two-hour commute time. <laughs> Hello. Here is a cake. Eh. There is not a cake. Here is a cake. That was the whole song. Camera, please. I don't want to have to go through the whole tunnel. Let me just hop up and... Okay, it's going to make me go through the whole tunnel. As notoriously poorly assembled as these games are, I wouldn't be surprised if there is a way to just get that, but <laughs> it probably involves, you know, <laughs> sacrificing your firstborn to Satan and then 
Well, you probably just, you know, look at it with the binoculars and then, like, you know, do a ledge clip. Mm. So, um... How long has this guy been here? Like, <laughs> I know this place is closed off, but, like, no. Do I need to actually this? I can't remember. I don't think so. Can I scan these? Apparently. Um... You will need to scan a multi-lock blast shield. Okay. Thank you, Farmer Brown. Hang on, how have I already missed? What the fuck? I'm too high up. I need to be further down. Maybe this path will take me down and then I can go there. Looks like it's taking me up. Um. And now it's taking me down. <laughs> Pulled me up, pulled me down, pulled my feet back on the ground, pulled me up, tipped my heart and made me happy. I don't know what that song was, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> it was Coco Jumbo. The, uh, <laughs> the chorus goes, yeah, 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 Coco Jumbo, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should do that it. really grumbly Christmas song. <laughs> I like how it's being sung by some more car gauge. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it sounds like. Or what does this say? Network of advanced structure. Yeah, I know that. Couldn't get here until we got the plasma beam, which was gotten <laughs> from Skytown. Yeah. I didn't Brio. Oh, here's the description of the planet's yes. orientation. I like how we're getting this this late in the game. Yeah. We should have done more with Brio eyes. Two eight four oh, one three seven three six three six five five one eight four one four seven five eight. So wait, can you write those down? I don't know if I'll need those anywhere. I will. I will copy it in future. Okay. I, I was, mm -hmm. feel like I would have remembered needing an arbitrary ass number somewhere. There's no way. Yeah, I don't remember what this is, but we'll see. Ooh. Maybe these are for the. Uh, the thing in the ship where you can, you know, call up Miyamoto. <laughs> I don't know how you translate those to numbers. I mean, the, the numbers to the symbols. I'm sure there's a way. Um, I was gonna say, I, this, I feel like this is tangentially related since we're playing a Metroid game. Um, I recently sure have gotten Im oh, I recently have gotten embarrassingly uh, intensely into uh, a game called Pseudo Regalia. Um, oh, yes. Which I have, uh, I've been, like, I, I feel like I am annoying you with the fact that I am so into it, but apparently this is not the case. I lost you the other day. It's, um, it's not really. It's the thing where I feel bad that I don't really share the interest, <laughs> but, uh, it, like, you know, there's nothing wrong with having the interest in the first place. Yeah. But it's, like, the game is short, and then I get, I did a playthrough, and then another one where I showed it to Joseph, and then I just kind of did another one, and I've done a couple randos, and I've just, like, gone in to fuck around. Like, I've just... Uh, anyway, for anybody that doesn't know what the game is, it's uh, it's an indie 3D Metroidvania. And there's not actually that many 3D Metroidvania. Indie 3D 3 3D engaged. Yes. There's not actually that many indie... Uh, sorry, 3D Metroidvanias in general, indie or otherwise. Um, it's basically just the Metroid series and this are, like, the big ones. Most Metroidvanias are, like, 2D. Um, you know, I can name a bunch of those. Axiom, Verge, Guacamele, Ori in the Blind Forest, Hollow Knight. You know, there's, there's mil a million of them. Um, but, um, for some reason, there's not that many 3D ones, even though, you know... The, the creator, from my understanding, like, when they entered... The, it was made for a game jam, and they were basically like, I see no reason why, no, you know, somebody couldn't make a pretty good 3D one. I feel like people just haven't tried it, but it could very easily be done. Um, well, you know, not very easily, but it's not, like, significant, it's not, uh, prohibitively difficult. Um, and, uh, and he did it, and it was really good, and honestly, most of the work seems to have been done during the game jam, like, within one month, and then the remaining three months of development time would just clean up. Like, the whole thing, the whole project was only four months, and it is a short game, 
but there's a lot in it, and uh, the core of it really is just that it feels really good to control. Um, the movement is really smooth and like um, fluid. Like you can chain moves into other moves. Shit, are these infinite? Satisfying. They might be. I don't know. I didn't even think about that. I think they might be spawning from this thing over here. Okay. Okay. I mean, I. No, maybe not. Maybe this thing goes away when they die. Okay, never mind. I mean, they they kind of seem like they're a bit too many of them. But anyway, um, so it's the kind of thing where it's hard to... If you've ever seen, you know, top players of Mario 64 controlling that game, where they just kind of zip around everywhere and freestyle their movement and just, you know, kick off of things and do jumps and then land and climb up and do it, you know, it, it feels like watching, like, a professional parkour, so I gotta turn off my... press a button on my fucking TV. Um, after, you know, not a lot of time of playing that game, I, you know, I've basically already reached a state where I'm very comfortable navigating its environment, jumping around on stuff, reaching places, experimenting with different... okay, sure enough. Experimenting with different, um, you know, ways of doing the same kind of thing pushing the game because it has sort of a implied order. It's very loose, it doesn't direct you, but there's, you know, there's a, there's an order that seems more sensible. There's some items that you are, you know, probably going to want to get to increase your capabilities, but there's a lot that you can do without those items or with the more limited toolkit. And it's just, it's it's very fun to and it play has around a dev and exit. all those things. It, it does, yeah, there's a dev exit that lets you skip the uh, um, boss at the beginning of the game. Um, I will say some uh, some downsides I've had is definitely the uh, what would you call it the underutilization of its combat mechanics because yes. the fluidity of its movement uh, makes for the first fight um, it, despite being rather simple was pretty fun it was fun to slide out of the way try to get hits in where you could uh, in a similar sort of manner scan to, the door. Okay, I need to scan this before. Gotcha. Apparently, this is the only option, like the only place you can get this. Huh. Not that we're getting hundred percent scans anyway, but yeah, I don't remember what I missed in this one. Fucking shriek bats! Oh, I've already like missed my chance for those. I think so. That's some BS because we were on the lookout for those. Yeah, I think they uh, they show up once, and if they die, then that's it. Yeah. All right. Um. But yeah, um, so, aside from that boss, there just weren't any others until the ending. There's the first boss and the final boss. It's very strange. Um, the enemy variety is pretty bad. There were only six, I, I, something like six or seven enemies throughout the game. And what's worse is that they use the same enemies in every area. And so there were a couple of areas that felt kind of eerie to me. And, you know, I would begin to explore them. Oh boy, here we go. I would begin to explore them. And then, them. you know, thing with a tuba shows up. Yeah, and I'm like, oh... Uh. I'm like, oh, it's it's just the same stuff as everywhere else, and it kind of took away some of the uh, atmosphere in that in that sense. The game's atmosphere right. is still very good. It has that sort of. Here we go. Boss fight. I don't remember. Totally, I'm supposed uh, to uh, shoot the missiles and X-ray visor. Or and X -ray visor. Um, what do you mean pit? There's no pit. It might have been a pit. So. Oh, I can just do. Oh, okay, hey, look, it's that's dead. it. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. You told me this would make it easier, not trivial. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's that's why you don't come here until you get those. Because it's either, you know, one of the worst fights in the game, or it's just... There's no fight. <laughs> that's a little bit ridiculous. Oh, good, and it's... I was about to say it's required, but actually, no, you don't need all the batteries, do you? No, you not all of them. You can technically skip some if you know what you're doing. I don't remember how yeah. many you actually need, but yeah. I think you need... Let's see, how many are there? Nine? That sounds like, about right. I think you like, need six or seven. Yeah, it's like six or seven you need. I think with glitches you can get away with like four. Hmm. All right. I well, I'm really of course going to try to get into, all of them. Uh, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm now carrying five. I think I used like two or something in the in the Valhalla when I was there. Two or three. 
Should be a tracker in the pawn screen somewhere. Okay. I uh, I know one that you don't have because it's part of the uh, you know fucking grand adventure. Hmm. Um, but yeah, the game has uh, ten major abilities, and then um, to reach the end, you need to get the equivalent of like the batteries in this game and the uh, you know the artifacts from Prime One. Uh... So. The green so you're ones carrying five. Well. You've used two. What? Maybe. I think I've used two, and then I'm carrying five. Yes. Yeah, so then there's two. What's the more. question mark one? For some reason, I just have coordinates for this one, but not the other. Th th was there maybe a, a place where I was supposed to scan for the there, location? There were things just... to scan. Yeah, maybe okay, there was one you didn't get. Okay. Well, anyway, um, and so yeah, as a result, uh. I have diabetes. You would you would think that some at least some of these keys are guarded by by stuff, but the the best oh. you know, the, the at best it's just a puzzle or like some enemies, <laughs> and it's a little bit lame in that sense. Um, but I understand it was supposed to be a small scale game. Would you say that the game more. needed more time to cook? Yeah, I feel like I feel like a couple more months to flesh out. Um, I'd take, like, you know, two extra bosses or something. Or at least more enemy variety. If they didn't want to do bosses, fine. But I feel like um, it, it is a little bit underwhelming to... You want to just call the ship here and then leave that way? Yeah, probably. To, you know, enter this new spooky area. And then it's just like like Josh said, it's like, oh, it's the tuba thing. Okay, never mind. I, I, I guess I have nothing to worry about around here. <laughs> um, and you're pretty much just right. Which, uh, if that ruins it for you, I mean... But, not ruins it, you know what I mean. Like if that's, if that's, I uh, basically I, I almost wonder if maybe it would be better if I didn't say anything because now you won't go in with those expectations. But it also takes away from me a little bit. I I did enjoy the mystery until it was you know until I opened the box and there was nothing in it. Um, but that that's basically the extent of my negatives. Other than that, very fun to control, very fun to navigate and uh, mess around with. There's a randomizer mod already. It apparently is unofficially supported by Archipelago. Like, it works with it, even though it's not on the website as an officially supported game. Definitely gonna have to play with that at some point. Um, and it's uh, it's $6, so, you know. Not gonna break the bank. I will definitely be doing some content on it at some point. Uh, probably an eventual LP, like, trying to cover it comprehensively. Um... Probably also some random stuff. Bridge. Uh, I feel. Like I guess I just, just stop pick one. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing there's a fair amount of crap scattered here. There's the three phasoids, you know, as exciting as those are. Um, there is the energy cell that involves a grand adventure. Yes. And there is also, I believe, an item in the ice side. That you have to go back for, Good. which won't show on the map. Right. Oh, even like as light circle. Well, because you can't view the map of the ice side unless you're in the ice side, uh, so it's really easy to miss. Gotcha. Well, I suppose it's not too unfair because you you should still think to go check. Especially if you're missing. Tell item. that to all the people who. Uh, are like, oh, uh, what's Pokemon 106 in the Sinnoh deck? So, <laughs> dude, did you try going to the fucking ruins? Oh, there was stuff over there. <laughs> All right, so what do we got? Um, okay, actually, I know the phase was one of the map. I just assumed that you knew. I know it's not the Nat Dex number; it's the Sinnoh Dex number. But I, I assumed that like you just probably had the correct information. <laughs> A little bit confused okay, by these dots floating game. in the void. Well, um, well, I mean, those are just rooms you've not been to yet. Yeah. They're There's friends you've not doors, made. A couple doors connecting the two halves of this map that we've not gone to. Oh, it's, okay. I was wondering, the, like, these two, like, fine, sure, I see the door. I didn't see the plasma door until now. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll point bit. out, uh, I don't know what parts of the planet these are on, so this is not that helpful, but the... Phasoid locations are Jousting Field, Gel Processing Site, and Grand Court. 
Oh, well, there was Rancor. Rancor over there. Jousting Field, Gel Processing Site. Rancor. I think Jousting Field was where you fought, fought the asshole the riding the, a beast. Riding, yeah, that's why I assumed. Um, And then, yeah, Gel Processing Site. That might just be... Kind of like... I, I have, like, a room in mind. I don't know how to describe it. It's the one okay. with, like, the... There's, like, fucking reptilians running around, and there's lava, so and there's, like, playground. pipes that you go through with morph balls, and there's, like, a pipe that you break at one point. I, I don't know. I think it's near the warp to the ice place. Okay. That is probably not the room, but we'll see. What would it be like if I show? <laughs> Did you say hi, 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 Zhao? Yeah. There's oh, a music here, right? The hell is this? Reptilian. Is the music here? <laughs> it's the hi, 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 Zhao music. I disagree. Well, because there's just a like hi, 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 Zhao, constantly going in the background. I disagree. Okay. I'm really listening well, for it, but you also disagreed with uh, with Spa. No, that was the chat. I said that I couldn't tell what the uh, what sound the fish was making. Well, as long as we can agree that Mumbo does not say Kadabra. He definitely doesn't say Kadabra. Uh, okay. Oh, that was fun. I like the part where there she. There was a. I was trying to do it sideways. I guess you can't. There was an episode of Super Milk Chan where the mayor had a cadaver on his desk. I was just thinking about that show, like, yesterday. What the fuck is Super Milk Chan? Some stupid-ass anime that was on Adult Swim. Oh. It's topical. It's topical. Demographic. Demographic. Yeah. Oop, I see it. Uh, it seems to connect to over there. Ah, uh, yes. I, uh... It was a it was a rarity for me to watch any anime because I never watched any of the like big name stuff that was on Adult Swim like Trigon and that kind of thing. But uh, this was a dumbass comedy anime, so I tried it and it was not very good. I uh, have certainly but... never heard of it. Perhaps if I knew what its uh, Japanese name was, because in a lot of anime circles, people will only refer to stuff with the uh, Japanese name things. <laughs> So I may, I'm, there's some things I may be more likely to know what they are. Oh, well, it's, uh... Is it just Super Milk Chan? Super Miruku Chan. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Never mind. Um, what studio does it say? <laughs> Might help me put it into perspective. Genko, Suplex, and Genion. Yeah. Genion, I think, or Genion. Or... I think I've heard those. I mean, that... What? Are those... I think those are more like publishers or something. I don't know, whatever. I, uh, I'm i not the most well-versed in anime stuff. Um... Ooh. I will say that uh, the Kadabra being on the mayor's desk was not noteworthy at all, other than the fact that uh, it it's, uh, it's, it's in proximity to sure. Wario explaining the blue shell, uh -huh. because there was one of those threads of people just, you know... Shouting out the things that they see while they watched it, and someone's like, "Oh my God, Cadabra!" I don't know if I said this when you mentioned this before with the Wario thing, but that just reminds me of um, there was a brief period when I was like five years old where um, me and my friend were really into a Cartoon Network show called The Robot Boy, and uh, there was a period during which um, we used to uh, at the time when the episode would be airing. I would call him on the phone, and we would have a phone call of, like, watching the episode together while talking about it. Um, Good. And I think I did this, like, a couple of times, and then my mom learned, like... She knew I was calling my friend, but she didn't know it was for an entire, like, half an hour episode. And she was like, that's extremely expensive to be on the phone for, like, half an hour all the time with your friend. Like, you can't do that. I'm like, oh. Okay. <laughs> She wasn't too mad about Phones it. Phones don't like, she, cost money. She wasn't too mad about it because she, I guess, knew that I didn't really understand the, you know, the cost of such yeah. things. But um, where do I want to go? So oh right, no, it's not here. It's uh, 
Sure. Put that thing back where it came from will so help me. Put that thing back where the Pubes. high IIO show. There's no high IIO show. There's absolutely a high IIO show. I don't see that kind of thing. Oh, I like that pot. Alright. Poop. Where is this thing? Do I have to, like, shake it out oh, like a thing like in a the boot? Oh, yeah, I like this one. Wait, what what are we looking for? It's I don't see an item on the map. Red, uh, or is it only in the pause Pizzoid. screen map? Oh, no, I'm what were you looking for? Red phasoid. Oh. Well plasmoid, whatever it's called. Oh. Um I don't know. Can you scan the robot? Like Yes, apparently. How have I not done this before? Head mount to switch use for manual access, okay. Oh, sure Good. enough. <laughs> oh, hang on. Uh... Like how this specifically requires fucking x ray visor. <laughs> Also, I like how the thing just, you know, immediately, it's like, oh, shit, and he's, he just, <laughs> doesn't have any time to, like, you know, slowly rise or anything. Increase. It has to, you have to use the hyper mode. Oh. You said this is required for being the no. game? No. Oh. No, this is, this is for... Credits. <laughs> okay, well. Which one was this? Grand Court? Yeah. In that case, oh, sh shoot, shoot. Okay. Oh my god. Um, I think also when you're full up on energy, I, I think the hyper missiles take a bunch. So like you can just shoot a hyper missile and it'll okay. eject a bunch. I think. <laughs> also, you could take a blueberry bath. But um, what the hell was I? Oh yeah. So this was not the room I was expecting out of uh, Grand Court. So I think I know where the other two are. Okay. How the okay, fuck daddy. do I get back up? Uh, I do not remember. I don't know. Something about the eye clock. Oh, it's the cave. It's a. Uh... Or no, you can screw attack over to that pile of bullshit and there? get up from there. Yeah. I tried to do that and it didn't work. Um, perhaps if I do it from here. Okay. Yeah. I need to start using. <laughs> Try something as a, uh, just, you know, generic piece of non-advice. <laughs> it's from, uh, it's from the YouTube poop, Link forgets how his arms work. Where he just, you know, <laughs> keeps doing this weird, stupid arm motion and can't stop. <laughs> yeah. And it's, yeah, yeah it's like, that. um, yeah, Zelda tells him to stop. He's like, I forget how. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Father, do something! And he's just like, what do I do? Try something! <laughs> Alright, um... Well, that guy uh, praises the Lord over there. Um, let me... Salute the sun. Oh, I forgot this was the uh, ledge that pees. Death ledge, the ledge that pees. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Crazy fat Ethel too. This is Christmas in America. In Have search you... of the wow wow wuzzle wuggle whizzle mm -hmm. woodle woo or whatever it was. Yeah. Can you tell we've been watching a lot of cinema snob? And by a lot I mean just like, you know, two nights in a row we we watched the song. Yeah. At four AM. Okay, uh, 
further on, and then there'll be one in the shaft, and then a couple more in that room itself. Jeez, this place is Look, loaded. One in, one in the shaft is worth two in the hand. No, one in the, the shaft is worth two in the, the hand. Get it together. Get it straight. You can't just take my joke. Didn't we say that we weren't going to raise our kids? Fire, 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 fire. Fireball. Yeah. I think I has the solution. Ah, yes. I forgot about this. Where he's just like... Okay. Uh, now I have to go partway up the shaft for an item. Wow, a whole five missiles. In the game where you basically don't ever use them. <laughs> yep. <sighs> what have we got? Ah, yes, it was this room. <laughs> uh, okay, good times. Let's see, we've got two more in here, jeez. Ooh, did you bring a skife? I don't know what that was. I, I regret everything. Uh, I think this might be the site of the Grand Adventure. I don't remember exactly. Ah! Okay. By which I mean Baby's Day Out. <laughs> By which you mean Dunstan checks in. Yes. By which I mean the Great Panda Adventure. I don't know where to go. There's not enough yellow paint. <laughs> there is no potato chip. That isn't Damn a it. bomb slot in there, is it? I don't bomb think it is, slot. but I can't really tell. Dunstan checks nope, in. The honey I no. <laughs> Hey, look, it's some bullshit. Well, his battery appears to have been removed from it. Hmm. Hmm, suspicious. <laughs> I just blow it up. Uh. I don't think you have the means to do anything with this. How? Explain how. I have every item. Yes, you do. Um, I, oh, okay, good. I was like, well, that might just fucking kill you on the spot. Uh, well, there's another item in the room, apparently. I don't know if you're able to get up to that one either, but, uh. Why would I not be able to, if I have every item? I don't understand. I don't want to spoil it, but there's like a, there's a big puzzle that spans, like, a good portion of the map, and I think this might the be the map. end point of it. So I do have to leave. Um, I guess I would say this room is lacking in power. I believe that's the problem. I mean, alright. I mean, I, I don't know how that, how this is gonna work, considering... I guess I must well, use boss flags or something, because, like... Well, <laughs> Because <laughs> you know, we've already activated the secret um, in this room. Um, there's... I think there's a thing around somewhere that'll tell you that it's out of power. An obvious thing where you put a thing or something. I guess I'll leave. Like, maybe that in the... I mean, I want to know what that higher item is. I feel like you can probably reach that one, but... 
Oh, yeah, can you just go, like, go up the half pipe and then go right? I feel like I, I, I mean, I can't see anything up there. Oh. Ooh! Yeah, wall jump scare. <laughs> jump scared by a book. Uh, how the fuck did I get up there the first time? I mean, you were up there and then just kind of fell. I don't know. Yeah, I'm saying how did I get up there the first time? <laughs> Well, I'm saying you were, like, you were just up there when I told you to check the half pipe, and then you just kind of jumped down. I was trying to get to it, and I couldn't reach it. Squirrel landed. Like this? Yeah. Huh, okay. I was, I was confused, because I tried to do that, and it didn't work. <laughs> I couldn't reach it. Bartleby's so lump gun. Oh, sure enough. Okay. Good. Okay, so... So now I have to leave. Before before you leave the room, scan the thing again and, like... Because I don't remember exactly how this works. It just said... It just said it's the, there's, like, a slot for a battery and it's out of power. Thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, okay. I, um, I don't know if I should say anything else about the room. Well, I already know that I have to leave, so I may as well just go yeah. and see if I can figure it out. Okay. Um. I, I, I kid about the screen secret thing, but it is very strange to me that uh, an optional item requires a room-spanning puzzle. Like, that, something about that seems very strange to me. Like, that would only be in a, you know part of progression i mean it's a it's for an energy cell yeah but you don't so need it's to get kind of <laughs> no but it's still sort of required and it's also something you have to backtrack to and then like just independently figure out it's, it's something about it it seems odd to me share if you agree that was a lore wall Oh, right. Okay. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> Science. Good wars. and evil. The war eternal. Right. The Warriors. <coughs> I can eat. Wait, what? Hang on. So, they sent out a bunch of machines to get rid of the pollution. This revealed their location. And then the primals were like, Gur science bad, even though it's getting rid of the pollution, and then went to go kill them. Yeah, sounds about right. Uh <laughs> uh, what do we got? Headpiece to one of the ancient colossal war guns. It appears to be movable. By fucking what? The ship? Okay. I guess this is only the second time ever that we've done this, so sure. Is it? Yeah, we. I don't think we've used it since um, since develop. You know, putting the nuke together. Ew! Look at all that gunk. And some of it, uh, okay, there it goes. <laughs> Let's just make a mess of things. I got an A plus on that test because it was a big mess. This is how you make a big mess. <laughs> um, That's your chance to make a big mess. You can freeze those uh, things, yeah. Um, oh, and then it makes platforms, I see. What would a platforming game be without porn? I felt that one in my bones. Neat. Uh, actually, that was a missile. Whee. 
Whee. Um, go back, because I think the other item Shit. might have also been in there. Shit. Oh, I just have to go down into the sludge. Into the bullshit, probably. Going through the shit. Oh yeah, sure enough. I am blind. Going off the map. This this wouldn't have even been saved by yellow paint because it's already yellow liquid. It's true. Wow. What a great item. Yeah, this feels underwhelming when the missiles don't matter. <laughs> But, oh well. The missiles already barely mattered in the first two Prime games, but at least in those, there were the combos you could use if you really wanted. Yeah. You know, oh man, I want to bust out the flamethrower. <sighs> Consume all 250 missiles in like <laughs> 20 seconds. They really should have made those worth your while. Just have like a couple, have some enemies instantly die to those, and have some. I mean, they, but they might have done that anyway. But have some more bosses that are like really weak to those if you get if you manage to get them at the right time. Okay, so where do I dump the thing? Well, there's an arrow tier yeah. left. An arrow. In the, in the ship visor, there was an arrow. What the fuck? Oh shit, that was. Okay. But uh, it does not want a giant head. Okay, so I have to go put the other thing back and find something else? Or you have to find a place to put the head. I don't remember where you put the head. Where, uh. Fantastic. I I'm as blind as you are at this point. I remember one aspect of this puzzle. So I really but, can't uh, put it there? So no head? Slams fist on table. Cabbage. Where the hell is the path forward? This way, apparently. Sam, stop fucking yeah, it's burning. in the hole. Or, here. or not now. Like, well, where are you trying to go? The exit. The other exit. It will have to one. be more clear. Oh, it's down. Oh, it is down the hole. Okay. Bottleby's Lumpkin. Yes. 24 bit bitmaps. Uh, does it do anything for me? I feel like I have to just go down. You can keep climbing up. Whee! What do you mean up? There is no up. There was definitely up. Well, now I'm stuck down here. Yes, clearly. Samus, stop fucking turning when I don't tell you to. You are so cute. You think you're a threat. He thinks he's people. Uh, there was no up. I see now that there is up, but this this is fake. It was not here. <laughs> but it was marked with blue paint. <laughs> really, the Nova Beam's not good enough. Still has to be a charge beam. <sighs> What damaged me? What the fuck? <laughs> oh. Lay an egg. Oh, there's my 1,000th <laughs> kill! What a good one it was! Nice. Alright, well, that's all of those. I mean, you know, of the 1,000 kills, you know, about 90% of those are just annoying garbage that's in your way. Yeah. Like Wispy Woods. He... has no style! He has no face. Oh, is this the end? Uh, no. The end of the road? No. Well, there's a plasma door over yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying! Oi! Cut it, it out, out, you! you. <laughs> I was gonna say that, goddammit. <laughs> Yeah, but see, Look, when we have happens, three cool things. <laughs> you know the oi is just an exclamation of annoyance in England, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not specific. I feel like I say it sometimes. Uh, Overloading the clamp with energy. Oh, 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 we get the gravel voltage! Generator is connected to nearby rail system. Unable to restore energy directly, okay. 
Magnetic rail system. Okay, oh, so I remember I this room. So I need to grapple That's voltage cool. so I can spider ball. Hello. What the fuck are you? New are enemy. You <laughs> well, they're dead now. <laughs> what did they do? A whopping 20 damage? Wow. Yeah. Where the hell did they come from? I don't know. <coughs> this room is neat. High temp weaponry. High temp weaponry. Okay, well, I... Excuse me? We're back. A dinosaur story. D scan them instead of everything else. It scanned three other things. Yeah, oh, there they are. Uh, they're wrong. I named seven other restaurants. <laughs> and so finally, I said Taylor's the place I knew she wanted to go anyway. And she, you know what she said? She said, well, if that's where you want to go. Foggle. <laughs> no. Think, no, uh, Craig, no. Were the <laughs> was the swarm still a separate scan? Yes. Beware the swarm. Scan it! I don't think it's possible to scan it. Well, I just did. <laughs> no. I did. No, you actually did, but I'm just I'm being obstinate. What do you mean it's immune thing? to the Nova Beam? What is it this bullshit? It only takes bullshit? damage when it wants to. What is this horse shit? Nobody can be immune to the Nova Beam. Able to jam incoming missiles, mouth is vulnerable to attack. Like hell it is. I can't shoot the thing. I guess I gotta go up there. I really you gotta go up there to myself in person. to slap a bitch. Yeah. Alright, do your fucking Always worst. You. Hey, asshole, look at me when I'm speaking to you. <laughs> Damn. Bitch! <laughs> He's worst not anyways again. Really Piece of shit! Anything. Yeah, no, he's, he's just, just being annoying. Away. I should be able to hyper mode your ass. Should be able to screw attack his ass. Yeah, yeah, that's fucking right. How much? Oh, you hey, look, he's dead. That's kind of interesting. Not yet. Oh. I, I'm not dealing with these fucking wasps. Like, they're not enough of a problem. Oh, I only have to do that seven more times. What is this fucking enemy? The only thing that uh, you needed to get here, I think, was Plasma Bam, so this isn't even a late game enemy. It's just, uh. It's just real yeah. annoying. Good, well designed. We lost two E tanks to this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Slowly. Are we still not done? Come on! <laughs> I have shot so many fucking shots into your mouth. Now, I know that we've all consistently thought throughout this that the combat in this game is top-notch, but this is gonna have Jesus to be a mark Christ. on the otherwise perfect record. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Too rapidly to be frozen for any amount of time, I know to freeze directly. Hmm... Suspicious. Suspicious. Who you? Cold-based weaponry could destroy the clamp. Beware the clamp. All right, what do you what do you do for me? How do you think it feels to be a little ball inside this thing's <laughs> stomach? <laughs> okay, forget it. Was not nothing. meant to ponder such things. <laughs> I like how it just kind of you know lazily emitted some cold <laughs> in its general direction. It's like, well, my job here is done. Permanently <laughs> offline. <laughs> uh... Oh, you motherfuck! Why is it so precise? Yeah, I, I feel I like I need screw attack. Onto that no? as the How else do I get up there? It's too imprecise for that. You can probably just jump to it from below, like going up the way that we went maybe to, to the. Fuck I mean, you maybe guy. I can also do this. This is the room of the elements.
Mm. Mm. Okay, well, that's for its own item. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> I feel like uh, this room is the closest this game ever gets to DK64. What I know that's mean? a stupid claim, but uh, oh come on! Something, something about it. this setup of use ice to make the robot create ice to do a thing. Use electricity to make the robot use electricity to do a thing, and then there's another one for fire. There's something just maybe not DK sixty four. It could be Banjo Tooie with like the different eggs, but there's something just rare collected. Uh, what? I think that's a spiral. I don't think you have to bomb jump it. Didn't look like it. Uh, can you not keep going? Uh, I didn't try, but I mean, that first one's a bomb jump because I tried that. And that worked. Yeah, the, the it looks two, like a spiral. You, yeah, just spiral. But I yeah, bomb so jumped the first time and it worked. Oh. What the fuck, man? Yeah, but you don't have to. Much easier to just do that. This looks like it will be a time. No, this part's just kind of busy work. The people of Brio made this track like this. It's not even decayed over time. This is just how they made it. Yeah, they were just having a jape. They're like, hey, what if we broke off one of the parts of the track here and made it shaped like a Cheeto? And you get to the very end, and then suddenly something fucks you over? Yeah, I mean, it's it's guaranteed at this point. This might be boost. Challenge condition. Get through this with, uh... Wait, what? Mm, oh, like I see. a little bit like a double jump on that. Yeah. That's awkward. Um, but yeah, challenge condition. Get through this while keeping the uh, thing vomiting bugs the whole time. Uh, how, literally, how is this possible? Oh! Normal timing, right? Yeah. Okay. I think you're placing the second bomb too early. Okay, <laughs> I'm surprised that the the such the things that we said did not come to play. Yeah. Such the things. Yeah, I was half expecting that last part of the track to suddenly come oh, we'll to life again, and shake anyway. you off. Nope. What you right. expected has not happened. I wasn't necessarily expecting that to work. Don't. I just that wanted right to now. use the line. How did I get up the first time? It was like. Oh, hang on, I forgot about On the this. right. Uh. Boom, bing, boom, boom. What? Oh, it's just for one of these. Oh, yep. it's just a peeboo. It's just a peeboo. Peeboo glue. What have we got? Peeboo glue. Victory. Victory. Yeah, Pokeball melted. Good. And delightfully so. I like how the uh, fire effect on the thing isn't rendered during the cutscene. Oh, wait, what? It's just it's just not being rendered in general anymore. You what scanned it, it went away. Why does it go away when you scan it? That doesn't make any sense. It always did. 
It's the same as the like like walls in Prime One. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, game, game. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Never mind. That leads to an item. This is progress. Whoopsie. I... Wait. No, they're Wait. both doors. Huh? Just yeah. Just man. Just I don't know. One. Just pick one and go. This actually looks like it will connect up to there. This looks they like it kind of do. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. I don't. Like... Fuck. I guess I did want to take the ice away. Just Damn. take this one. It, it Go ahead and do it. I feel like you're really? going to encounter sadness soon. So. Okay. Oh, is this the next Metroid Hatcher? No, I think this is... Uh... Oh. Actually, is it's Is that where this. the head go? I think it might be where the head go. Invulnerable to weaponry. Somehow. Giant impact. Mm. Like, from a... Here comes a giant fist. Hmm. <clears throat> he knocked me feet. Receive. But just think about how much better this would work if it had carried the random, like, you know, detritus with it. <laughs> oh, oh, we're letting the bats escape. <laughs> Graceful. <laughs> It was very important oh, that it breathed plasma fire. Oh man. <laughs> good shit. Is that ship missile upgrade? Punched a bitch and uh, is now permanently <laughs> offline. My permanent guest. Yeah, the ship prince. missiles. Those, those things that I use ever. Yeah. Right. Is that a. It's a little wall I didn't scan. <clears throat> Decline. I feel like we already understand. Okay. New source of natural energy fuel gel. So this is a new thing. Why would they forget how to use magic just because they're not fighting the science lords anymore? That seems a little bit suspect. I can understand that happening over the case of many generations. I don't understand why it would happen fast. <laughs> what a device. That's <laughs> so fucking dirty. Why? Yeah, like the little whoosh it does at the end. Oh, what is this? Man. They knew how to make a device. Why is it like going in and out? Uh, to piss you off, because it it had it worked so reliably when they were static, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, can I get over there? I don't think so. I think I need to climb this. Probably wall. not. You might be able to screw attack directly into that hole, but you oh, know God. that would be. That would be some shit. I like the part where the screw attack didn't happen for some reason. Yeah. I think you have to have some forward movement for it to activate. Uh. And not be immediately adjacent to a wall. Oh, good. Well, mm -hmm. of the upgrades that it could have been, that's probably the best option. Fuck you, game! Alright, um, so I can't reach that, it seems. I have to come from the other side. Yeah, I think so. That's why I said I believe this way is going to lead to sadness, because okay. it's a dead end. Well. This room is a, uh... Huh? Integral part of the, uh, Grand Adventure. Oh, sorry, excuse me. I didn't go through the little fucking ring. Do I get a treat now? Treat. Treat. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh no! 
Nope, just forget about it. Forget about don't, it. Don't, don't Do not engage. Do not die. We want <laughs> it. <laughs> I have to fight it. I can't ignore it, otherwise it'll do that to me. Nope. Just just keep yes. going, it'll be fine. I mean, no, I have play to fight the clarinet it. better. Uh, maybe hyper mode it then? To save I time? Think, I don't think hyper mode will work. It's specifically... What the fuck? I should have done that to begin with. I didn't think it would work. I should have done this like a million years ago. I didn't think it would work because it was like... It, it, it seemed... What the fuck is this? I just started spinning in place, and apparently something hit me. I get. Was it a wasp? I killed the mother. How did it spawn more? Unless there's a leftover somehow. I'm so confused. Leftovular. Even when you're doing exploration, this game finds ways to try to be as annoying as possible. Life uh, finds a way. <laughs> uh. Nice blue eyes, by the way, Sam. It's look really pretty. Um... <laughs> Music, bitch. <laughs> oh boy. We. Yeah. Yeah, the sludge. You guys ever been in some sludge? Uh, sort of. I was in sulfuric acid once, does that count? <laughs> really? Yeah. It wasn't very pleasant. Wouldn't recommend, 0 out of 10. Why were you in sulfuric acid? Also, hi, um, Spider Guardian. Goodbye, um, Spider Guardian. Well, one time, Hide my see. dad asked me to move a table that was in the driveway that used to be in the garage. And in order to do this, I had to first remove all the bottles of chemicals from inside of it. And this mm. thing had been in the driveway for a considerable amount of time, so it's all rusty and shitty. And, you know, none of these bottles are labeled, or if they were, their labels have long since decayed, so I can't read what any of them are. So I'm picking up these bottles and moving them, and I pick, I, get up back one, up? I pick up one, and the plastic has decayed so bad that the top half of the bottle just separates from the bottom half, and I'm like, oh, okay, great. Do I have and, to um, hyperbomb? I don't think so. Can you? What happens if you hop up, hop up on that little rock there? Does that go anywhere? Uh oh. Okay. Well, this looks pleasant. Oh, or it could be nothing. Are you yeah. sure? Are you sure it's not nothing? Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Sorry, going. Um. So you know the plastic bottle splits in two, and there's just this but kind of yellow in liquid in it, and. I go to grab this bottle, you know, the remainder of it, to try to actually remove it from the table. And uh, what I get is a nice lung full of sulfuric acid. Ugh. <laughs> and it's just burned Christ. like hell. I couldn't breathe right for a couple days. That's uh, highly unfortunate. My story involving a sludge was uh, much less horrible than that. It was just uh, <laughs> I stomped around in a fucking marsh once. That, that that's basically the story. Yeah. All right, so we got that. We okay. Oh, it's Davis. Really? You just shoot? I guess it's supposed to be a one way. Oh, and back here again. Joy. Yep. Yep, I believe you've done everything you can from here. So I need to go to ice side, really? Well I mean, no, that's only for one item, but is there anything else nearby that is uncollected other than this one item? Um That's where I came from. Uh I need to go... Is it South Jungle Court, you said? Is one? Uh... There's something Court. There's Jousting Field. Jousting Field and Gel Processing Site. Oh, uh, Gel Processing Site. Uh... 
Joe processing site might be in the ice side then? It's not. The ice side is like three rooms. There's a whole other section of the planet that is not this and is not the ice side. Oh, really? Yeah, because this is thorny jungle. There's also... Oh, the fiery. lava area. Right. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, um... I... Basically, you need to get to the other side of the stupid, you know, swirly fence. What swirly fence? Well, the room where you used the spinner and it did the oh, stupid yeah. rotating thing. You need to get to the other side of that. I think it's from... Yeah. Um, I think. You have to open that and then you have to do some shit. <laughs> I right. don't remember. Sure. Either way, this is uh, probably a job for another video. Yeah. Make good progress. Got a bunch of items. Oop. Yeah. Oh, I got a job for you right here. Listen to you eating crisps. Oh, can you hear that? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. I mean, just <laughs> that the task. Uh, the task is um, make this Swedish man laugh. You have ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, you were gonna say some shit like that. Fuck do I get up? <laughs> Game. I do not see any way up. I'm gonna, you know, not that we're having a discussion anyway, but I'm gonna derail the non-discussion by uh, bitching about beanie stuff again because I responded to somebody's post earlier, uh, and their post is. Uh, any advice on the value of this guy would be greatly appreciated. It's mint condition, stored, sealed up, has misprint tag, and dates mismatched Why is with so Ringo long tag. I was going for a Russian accent. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> but, um, I don't, it, it's all, like, you know, just weirdly spaced. There's no spaces after the periods. <laughs> misprint is two words. Mismatch is two words. Fantastic. Like, but, so, it's just, you know, the usual shit, and I'm just like... I'm For the record, I'm just trying to get to the save room. Or yeah. to my ship. I can't um, figure out how the fuck to get up there. Genuinely. Are you sure there's an up? Yes. Yes, look, I looked at the map multiple times. Oh, there is an sure up. Enough. Okay. But, anyway... Uh, since I don't have an answer, and you just have to look around, I guess. Um, what is still shooting at me? No, I killed everything. Come on. Is there, like, a little cave on the other side or something? Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I don't seem to be. This is, uh... Well, so if I go here, I can swing across, but then that's a dead end. What the fuck is spawning these?! Me. Stop it! I go up here- Oh, what the fuck? I went here and there's a dead end, bro. <laughs> so, to continue my little rant, um, I just, you know, I gave the answer that I always give, which is, uh, it's common, the tags aren't supposed to have the same years listed, it's not an error. Um, and then he just responds, it also has the misspelling on the tie tag. I'm like, <laughs> you can't just say it has the misspelling. Bro, what the fuck are- what, what is it? I can't do anything well, with this. Well, it's the one that makes it info. worth a million dollars. So, uh, basically, people in the Beanie Facebook group are stupid. Uh, yeah, what else, know, is new? what else is new? <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Next time, more Brio uh, stuff, and hopefully I'll get to figure out what the fuck is up with that multi-screen puzzle that, you know, shouldn't be possible in the engine. Um, clearly. Uh, see you later.